Okay, today I want to make some blinds to fit over our windows. I'm going to use IKEA blinds, which a lot of people are using. But what I want to do, the template, the original one that came with the panel, obviously, sorry, the original one that came with the van fits around here, which is going to be clearly too small as a template, because I really want to fit mine around this outer edge. So I'm going to, I've just bought some free meal ply, which I'm going to transfer a template using the original uh, um, panel to give me the curves, etc. But uh, obviously I need to make it, well, I think I've worked out it's about two inches larger than the original one, so that it comes across here. So that's what we're going to do now. And there's a little helper over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, in order to get about two inches um, larger than the existing board, I'm going to use this lid that I've cut a hole in, pass my pencil through. And that is about two inches, which is actually what I need. So now I'm just going to run that around the edge. This way it trans gives me an exact template of my board. Especially on these curves, which are really crucial. And there I have it, I have a template exactly the same as that one but only just two inches larger which should transfer onto the board of the van. Let's cut it out. Okay, today we're going to attempt to do the blind over the slide. I've got my cardboard template, which I've already cut around, using the same principles we used on the other video. So now we're going to work out the actual um, square cut inside, which the blind's going to fit to. So, let's go. Okay, so what we've done here, we've made a, a cardboard template, because it's really quite finicky to work out what size the opening you want and where it's going to fit. So as you see, we've just got a cardboard template. This is our second one, the first one wasn't quite right. So. Uh, now we're going to transfer that onto the wood and cut the wood out. This is a really cheap saw that I bought from Lidl's. Uh, it's obviously got a battery on it, but it's working really well. We're cutting through loads and loads of things. The charge is great pretty quickly, and it actually keeps us charged for a long time, so I'm impressed. Okay, let's pull it back in, just this, shall we? Put it. around rough that square isn't mm -hmm. it?
See if that's the square in the middle, can't it? Have we got enough down there? Yeah. 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 Sure? Yeah. Just trying yeah. to pull it down a bit so it's good. Turn that over in the glue. So that you Cut the caps. Yeah. Right on the bottom edge of the reset mm -hmm. out of the way. Yep. Down there. Yep. Some other things may be missing. Did it come with the camera? Where's our roller? One corner finished. The easy way to do it is to pull those bits like that. It keeps it all pulled in time. Just in well, that one's going to get, if you cut right through there, that's going to take that bit right up to. You could come right through to there, you could actually take all that bit off there, right up through that. Well, Two hours later. <laughs>
Just doing that with these. Three and a half, if I look like that. Slightly more back up this way. One more in the middle, mm -hmm. which I need to put a line between these two. So. That's the second blind done. That's the first one we did yesterday. Now I'll be honest, this was the second one we did. The uh, first one I wasn't happy because it wasn't completely level where the blind comes down because we used the contours of the framework of the door. Uh, it didn't notice it until you actually put the blind on but it was actually going downwards and I wasn't happy at all so we've had to re-carpet and do a whole, do the whole one again sort of thing but I'm happy now and now we've just got the barn doors to do and this side when I'm sitting on and we won't be doing this side until I've got the kitchen I think